Check out our local sponsor, Death by Metal STL. Some of the most amazing interviews with some of the biggest metal bands in the industry. Check these guys out at www.deathbymetalstl.com. One of the best metal magazines in the industry. Always supporting the independent artist and always pushing independent music. Remember, you heard it right here on The Pit. Are you tired of other shitty airline companies that cannot get your bags to its very final destination? Are you tired of not being able to bring your goat wife on your airline flight with you? Getting frustrated with not being able to build a bomb on a plane? I have the solution for you, my friend. Today, we will introduce you to our brand new airline flight company, Kaboom Airlines. Kaboom Airlines makes sure to take care of all of passengers, we made sure the very best to provide for them and getting them to their final destination. You have bomb? That is okay. We like bomb. Bomb is fine on Kaboom Airline because all of our flights are one-way trips, no matter what. One thing is for sure, you can definitely count on Kaboom Airlines being a blast of a trip. Remember, we are the only airliner that can land anywhere. We do not even need airport. You just point at building or place and we land there. That is how we do it. So remember, always go to Gaboom Airlines for your best terrorist experience for airline flight. If you are American looking for a good time, I guarantee you, you will have one great time in a very big way on Kaboom Airlines. Remember, all of our passengers on Kaboom Airlines are guaranteed to have a blast. Make sure to always buy our plane tickets over any other airliners because our prices are explosive! 
make sure to check us out at www.isisownsairlines.kaboomairlines.net.cbc.terrorism. Remember, all of our passengers will feel engulfed on Kaboom Airlines because we put you first. That's right. They put you first in line to go kaboom on Kaboom Airlines. To go kaboom. To go kaboom. All right. So, uh, sifting through the metal news, and uh, I have to say, I think I have to do a new segment called Troll of the Week because this is fucking amazing. All right. So, this is fucking great. Apparently, Slipknot fans got catfished by a fictional Corey Taylor account. (laughs) I'm sorry, I just think this is fucking hilarious. Hey, Slipknot fans, did you help Corey Taylor raise over $1,000 for the homeless via his Instagram? Well, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your dumbass got catfished. This Instagram account is in question and does not, in fact, belong to Slipknot or Stone Sour's frontman, Corey Taylor, as made apparent by one of his recent Twitter interactions between Corey Corey Taylor fans and and Elena Salisino. Uh, He posted, uh, blah, 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 this person is posing as me. He's all over on Twitter bitching about it. But what kills me is his fucking, Corey Taylor's fucking name, Krusty Jugglers. That's right. Krusty Jugglers is his fucking Twitter name. What the fuck, dude? Seriously? Dude. Okay. Whatever. I'm just gonna let that go. But he posts, I need people to help me spread the word. I'm not on Instagram. This person is an imposter and is taking money from people. Woo. Sorry. Corey. Come on, man. So, anyway, the Instagram account has been taken down for the moment. Uh, our, uh, one of our boys, Brian Storm at Rockfeed, reported it, but apparently it had 51,000 followers at one point. You dumbasses got scammed! But this is a solid reminder of why so many online handlers, handles like this, are like completely easy to grab. Like, if you know a big time musician that's not on Instagram, you create a fucking fake Instagram, you're gonna have tons of people, okay? That's like a total fucking dumbass loophole. Like, I don't even understand why Corey Taylor didn't make an Instagram so he could prevent that from happening. Like, hey, I know that you guys don't ever really use social media, but you probably want to hold all the accounts for your personal fucking pages. Just a thought. So, Troll of the Week week goes to the guy or guys or girls who created that account. My hat is off to you. You literally trolled 51,000 thousand fucking people at one time you even got a thousand bucks out of the deal I don't know how you scam that and I know it's kind of bullshit but at the same time I personally have never really been a Slipknot fan and I fucking hate Stone Sour so fuck Corey Taylor I I think this is hilarious this ought to teach him a lesson to hey I need to cover my bases when it comes to social media considering I'm only one of the biggest metal fucking goddamn frontmen in the world no mind that but you know He's a dumbass, and everyone who fell for it is a dumbass. So, well, Corey, I wish you the best. Hope that works out for you. <laughs> Just that I'd share that shit with you guys. I-, I figured you guys would get a chuckle out of it like I did. Uh, I did want to talk about uh, something else in the news of the metal industry. Uh, Mastodon are now officially back in the studio, and they're in the studio with Brendan O'Brien, which is kind of fucking cool. Uh it pretty much seems like they're going to have some stuff drop in the next year. Uh, they're doing a whole lot of work with Brian, uh, O'Brien right now. And uh, he's produced a bunch of really good shit. Uh, they've got some videos up. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of information up. They just started talking about it on, on uh, their Twitter and on their Facebook. Uh, I've been kind of following this a little bit. They're going to be in the studio for a while. Uh, They haven't really given a length of time that they've paid for. I guess they might be doing it on the fly or by a bid. Uh, However, they have it set up. 
So whenever that's done, they're probably going to drop another announcement of what's going to happen. So let's keep our eyes out on Mastodon. I don't know if any of you guys out there are Mastodon fans, but I am a long, long time Mastodon fan. And I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely excited. But if, for some of the bands that you might not know, Brendan O'Brien has produced... He's uh, worked with bands like Soundgarden, Stones, Temple Pilots, Pearl Jam, Rage Against the Machine, Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Offspring, and like 50 billion more from the fucking 90s and 2000s. Like, he produced a ton of huge mainstream bands. It's really cool to see him producing anything with Mastodon. That makes me super excited because I've been wanting to see what he would do with some of the more underground metal acts or long-term legendary tier acts of metal. So, keep your eyes peeled. For some new shit by Mastodon, keep looking around on the fucking internet because you know someone will leak it. Uh, and just fucking, if you don't know Mastodon, you probably should go learn Mastodon. Some of you kids might be a, a little young and might not remember some of the old fogey metal bands of the day. But uh, Mastodon's definitely been around for a long fucking time. And in my opinion, they have one of the best drummers on earth. Uh, so if you're a drummer and you're not familiar... Go familiar size with go familiar. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I, my mouth just had a seizure. Go familiarize yourself with some fucking mastodon, and I guarantee you, you're not gonna regret it. So, that being said, uh, I'm gonna be keeping my eyes peeled for some news myself, and uh, let's go ahead and get back into some music. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is 2.49 Central Standard Time right now. We are going till 5 o'clock. Uh, I think I'll throw in some Initiate Jericho, Dead Eyes Always Dreaming, and Aborted Memories, Strength in Numbers, the Zealot, Dead World, Until Royalty, Abnormality, and then we'll be back with more bullshit right here on The Pit. <laughs> 